In this module, we'll talk about the security overlay of the enterprise, and this is the second uh, part of the series. So in this module, we'll look at what are the traffic types and traffic flows specific to good security design, and let's take a look at some examples. Now, in this traffic flow, what we see is that there's traffic coming from the outside, passing through the router, going through the NGN firewall, and this traffic is actually directed to the web server lying in the DMZ. The web server is accessed. It could be a user trying to access the corporate web portal, and the traffic goes back out. In this second traffic flow, we see that there is traffic which is coming in from the ISP and passes through the router. It passes through the email anti-spam gateway. So this is email SMTP traffic. And from there, it is routed, it is directed to go back inside and into the data center and eventually to the server. The next traffic flow, the third one that we're seeing here, is traffic which is directed out of the organization. And this is a user sitting inside who is actually trying to access a website outside uh, the organization or outside in the, in the w, you know, World Wide Web, any, any website. So the user's traffic is, is directed to the access switch, distribution switch, goes out to the NGN firewall, goes to the DMZ web security gateway, uh, which acts as a proxy, and then out to the ISP. And the reverse traffic would go exactly in the same sequence, back in the same route, the arrow direction would be reversed. This is traffic which would be blocked by the NGN firewall, and this is unauthorized traffic coming in from the ISP to the router, and it is trying to go directly to a data center um, server. And it does not have authorization, and then it is eventually blocked by the NGN firewall. There's an access list, and it's blocked. In this slide, you see that there is traffic coming from the user, and this is non a non-compliant workstation, and the, the traffic is blocked by the network admission control system, which gauges the compliance of the system with regards to some policies, in, in reference to some policies, and it could be that the antivirus was not updated, and hence the user is prevented from accessing the corporate network. This is traffic from a user which is headed to the data center server and in this particular case, the user does not have the subnet which the user belongs to, the network that the user belongs to, is not authorized to access the data center switch and to access the data center. And hence, the data center firewall will block this user. This is valid traffic going from a user out into a regional office. It passes through the access switch, distribution switch, and out to the UTM. Now, in this traffic flow, what we see is that there is a server in the DMZ which is trying to access the data center switch and it is not authorized and hence it is blocked. And previously we had seen a flow in which traffic was coming from the outside exterior network which was blocked by the NGN firewall. In this particular case, the web server or any other server would be directing traffic to an internal server and is not authorized to do that. And hence it is blocked by the firewall in the data center switch. Now, granular access list filtering and a well-planned and tested security design are keys to success. So there's a lot of detail that goes in, and there's a lot of thorough working, there's a lot of planning that goes into designing a security architecture. And um, it, it takes a lot of time to actually implement um, and control these traffic flows, especially when you want to make access lists and want to make it granular in, in the firewalls both at the edge and in the data center, it takes a lot of time and it's very hard and difficult to do. However, that is very central to having a good security practice and a good security design. Thank you.